Hello, friends and subscribers. This is Prepper Princess. We're going to change it up a little bit, and this is going to be a bit of a serious video. And this is the terrifying reality of retirement. Now, a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions about retirement. They think that they're going to quit their job, maybe start a new career or work part-time. And in their off time, they're going to go fishing or go golfing. And they're going to be in perfectly good health up until the moment that they essentially keel over and die. And I speak from personal experience with my mother and currently with my grandmother. This is not the way that it happens. Um, some really scary statistics that I've been researching for a really long time, and this is one of the reasons that I save like a mad woman as much as I can, as often as I can. The average Social Security monthly income is $1,180. That's an overall average. Some people make less and some people make more. The cost of assisted living is $3,500 per month. Where I live, the cheapest place we can find is five over $5,000. It's like $5,568 a month. When you are retired, if you don't have any savings and you're just living off of Social Security, it's very unlikely that you're going to make it. Um, and a lot of people are going to, unfortunately have to inconvenience their children or their grandchildren in their older years. The way that it works is a lot of people will move into apartments which are not assisted living, but they're for older communities, typically age 55 or 62 and older. And those apartments have a tendency, or homes, if you will, there's also home communities, those communities will have lower rent rates than what is in the area. However, this is when you're still youthful and vibrant and you're able to do things for yourself. A lot of these places have buses that will take you to grocery stores or doctor's appointments. They'll drop you off at the corner and come and pick you up an hour or two later. It still gives you the ability to have somewhat of a social life and do all of your errands yourself. Right now, my grandmother is in failing health. She is no longer able to she no longer has the energy to go to her mailbox, okay, which is approximately 50 feet from her apartment. She can't make it, all right? She gets winded, she has to stop, she has to take a break, and then she feels like she's going to faint. She's in heart failure. There's also, um, she no longer has the strength or energy to get on a bus. So at this point, I am in the process of doing everything for her in addition to my full-time job, in addition to YouTube, in addition to writing my book. Um, I am personally drained and extremely stressed out. Um, in fact, I, I called into work on my regular job today because I did not have, I'm shutting down essentially. The stress level is making me shut down. And I'm not, you know, I'm not looking for any sympathy from anybody or anything like that, but I'm trying to help you understand that when your body goes, your mind begins to go too. And you don't realize the inconvenience that you're causing your family by forcing them to do these things. Now, my grandmother has been saving her entire life and she has money. But because her mind is going, she keeps saying she's going to call the assisted living facilities and she doesn't. Um, I, to get into more personal stuff, I don't have power of attorney, so I can't force her to do something like that. I don't have um, the power of attorney to take over her finances because she's still cognitively perceptive. So um, she's having a lot of issues and it's getting to the point my brother and I are going to her house. One of us will be going there every single day to take care of things. And I have to go grocery shopping for her every two or three days because she will tell me to go buy her something and I'll buy it. And then she will forget that she had 10 other things on her list. I'll go get those 10 other things. She'll forget about a doctor's appointment. And this is something that you guys really, really need to take into consideration. Is this something that you want to do to your children? Is this something that you want to do to your grandchildren just because you didn't take the initiative to save some money in your younger years where you were still able-bodied and able-minded and you were able to do these types of things? It's terrifying, you guys, to know that you could run out of money when you die. Now, there are other things that come into play with this as well. Of course, you're going to have free medical with Medicare, Medicaid, Medi-Cal, whatever, once you grow older. But if you only are living on Social Security, it may be possible that you're not able to pay the co-pays on your medications. This is extremely important because this could kill you. 
You could essentially die because you did not save enough money in your youth so you could take care of yourself in your older years. It is so terrifying. It is a truth. It is a reality. Um, also, um, because of the way that things are now, people who, the baby boomers, did not save enough during their careers. 63% of people, I think it's more, sorry, 73% of people die with $62,000 worth of debt or more. Okay, so people have not saved enough for their retirement. And everybody always says, I'll put it off next year. I'll do it next week. I'll do it some other time. You know, I just don't have the money to save. Trust me, you guys, you have to save as much as you can. There is no magic number. If you can only save 2%, save it. Put it in a 401k, put it in an IRA, a Roth IRA, anything you can to save money for your retirement. This is so important and this is the fundamental, this is the very bottom base of the things that I want to teach is how important it is to save, not just to get out of debt. You have to save for your future, guys. And I don't mean to terrify you from this, but this is something that I'm going through. It's something that's very close to my heart right now. And I am begging you, please start saving your money. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out.